Little Miss Magic by Roger Hargreaves. Little Miss Magic. Early one Monday morning in summer, Little Miss Magic awoke in the bedroom of Abracadabra Cottage, which was where she lived. She yawned a yawn and got out of bed. She went to the bathroom to clean her teeth. Squeeze, she said to the tube of toothpaste. And guess what? The tube of toothpaste jumped up and squeezed itself onto Little Miss Magic's toothbrush. Honestly, Little Miss Magic isn't called Little Miss Magic for nothing. When she tells something to do something, it does it. She went downstairs to the kitchen. Boil, she said to the kettle. And it did. Toast, she said to the toaster. Spread, she said to the knife. And the knife jumped up and spread some butter onto the toast. Pour, she said to the coffee pot. And she sat down to breakfast. Don't you wish you could make things do things like that? She was enjoying a second cup of coffee when there was a knock at the kitchen door. Open, she said to the door. And as it did, there stood Mr. Happy looking quite the opposite. Why don't you look your usual self, remarked Little Miss Magic. What's the matter? Everything, replied Mr. Happy. Come in and tell me about it, she said. Have a cup of coffee. Pour, she said to the coffee pot. Now, said Little Miss Magic, what is it? It's Mr. Tickle, replied Mr. Happy. He's become absolutely impossible. What do you mean? asked Little Miss Magic. Well, went on Mr. Happy, he used to go around tickling people every now and then, but now he's going around tickling people all the time. (sighs) He sighed. Little Miss Magic looked at him. It can't be that bad, she said. It's worse, said Mr. Happy unhappily. Cheer up, she grinned. Come on, she said. And off they set from Abracadabra Cottage. After you, said Little Miss Magic to Mr. Happy. Close, she said to the door. Mr. Tickle was in full cry. What a Monday morning he was having. He tickled Mr. Mean until he'd moaned. And Mr. Greedy until he'd groaned. And Little Miss Sunshine until she'd shivered. And Mr. Quiet until he'd quivered. And Little Miss Late until she'd pleaded. And little Miss Shy until she'd sobbed. Not to mention the postman, a policeman, and a doctor, three dogs, two cats, and a worm. Aha! cried Mr. Tickle as he spied little Miss Magic and Mr. Happy. Anyone for Tickles! And he rushed up to them, reaching out those extraordinarily long arms of his, with those particularly ticklish fingers on the ends of them. Little Miss Magic looked at Mr. Happy. I see what you mean, she said, and winked. She pointed at Mr. Tickle's extraordinarily long right arm. Shrink, she said. And then she pointed to Mr. Tickle's extraordinarily long left arm. Shrink, she said again. And as you remember, when Little Miss Magic tells something to do something, Mr. Tickle's arms were suddenly not extraordinarily long. They were extraordinarily ordinary. That's not fair, he cried. You've spoiled my fun. It might have been fun for you, remarked Mr. Happy, but it wasn't much fun for anybody else. Come and see me tomorrow, said Little Miss Magic to Mr. Tickle. There, she said to Mr. Happy. Happy now? Mr. Happy smiled that famous smile of his. I'll say, he said. Come on, he added. I'll buy you lunch. And off they went to his favourite restaurant, Smilers. On Tuesday, Mr. Tickle went around to Abracadabra Cottage. He knocked at the front door. Open, he said a voice inside. Oh, hello, smiled little Miss Magic as the door opened by itself. And she saw who was standing there. Come in. I expect you'd like me to make your arms long again, she said. Oh, yes, please, said Mr. Tickle. Uh, Very well, she said. Mr. Tickle's face lit up. On one condition, she added. His face fell. You are only allowed one tickle a day. One tickle a day, 
said Mr. Tickle. That's not much. Promise, said Little Miss Magic. Mr. Tickle sighed. <sighs> Promise, he said. Grow, said Little Miss Magic. And both Mr. Tickle's arms grew back to their original long length. Now don't forget, she reminded him, one tickle a day. Or else, she added. Mr. Tickle went out through the door. Goodbye, she said to him. Shut, she said to the door. Mr. Tickle stood outside Little Miss Magic's cottage. Ah, oh, well, he thought. One tickle a day is better than no tickles a day. It was then that he saw one of the downstairs windows of Abracadabra Cottage was open and a small smile came to his face. One tickle a day, he thought. And on that Tuesday morning, as one of those extraordinarily long arms reached in through the open window of Abracadabra Cottage, the small smile on the face of Mr. Tickle turned into a giant grin. One tickle a day, he thought. And that was Little Miss Magic by Roger Hargreaves.